Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will teach you step by step how to sell t-shirts on Teespring. How does it work? What are the pros and cons of starting your own t-shirt business on this platform? And most importantly, is it still possible to make significant profit by selling t-shirt designs online in 2023? Well, keep watching to find out. All right, guys, you can sign up free of charge here in Teespring by clicking on this button on their homepage and by filling in this short registration form on the next page, or alternately, through your Facebook, Google or YouTube account. Signing up is actually a real no-brainer, so let's skip this and get straight to the point. Before we get to the technicality though, let me outline in just a few words how selling t-shirts through marketplaces such as Teespring works. Once you've watched this tutorial all the way through, you will notice that this is actually as simple as shelling piece. You don't need any prior expertise to start your own t-shirt business, or as it is called correctly, print-on-demand business. No fancy equipment is required, no upfront investments are needed, because you see guys, that's the beauty of print-on-demand as a business model. You can get started completely from scratch, publish your first couple of eye-catchy t-shirt designs on the market, for example here on Teespring, or on any other print-on-demand marketplaces of your choice, lean back and let these guys handle all the rest. The production, the shipping, even the customer service, and what's even more important, publishing graphic designs doesn't cost you a single penny, because they will print your designs on t-shirts, mugs, sweaters, phone cases and all of these products on demand, meaning only if there has been made a purchase by a customer. Once that happens and a customer decides to order, for instance, a t-shirt with your artwork printed on it, Teespring will get to work, manufacture the purchased item with your design featured on it, ship it to the customer, take care of the customer service if needed, and receive a payment for that sale. The revenue from that sale will be split between the print-on-demand marketplaces and you, giving you the chance to earn money almost 100% passively, because as previously mentioned, your only task will be to provide these marketplaces with potentially hot selling graphic designs. And that's it. You don't need to open any shop for this, build any websites, invest any money into paid ads if you don't want to. That's how print on demand works in a nutshell. So now that you know how this business model works, let us find out how much you can expect to earn with your published t-shirt designs, because I assume you're not interested in starting this to become a famous graphic designer or artist, but to actually make some bank with your own print-on-demand business. Say for example you decide to upload a bunch of simple text-based designs such as these here for a price of 20 euros or dollars, depending on which country your customer is located in, for 27 euros or a shirt like this for $19. Now, to be honest, you will not get paid the entire revenue of $19 from that t-shirt, but a cut of that called royalty per sale. Most of these print-on-demand marketplaces such as Teespring or Redbubble, for example, will allow you to set the height of your royalty per sold item yourself, giving you more control over your potential earnings. What does it take to create simple text-based designs such as these here? Well, all you need is a free account on Canva, a moment of your time, and that's it. Canva will allow you to create all kinds of graphic designs, text-based designs included, of course, with very little effort. Which leads us also to one of the major obstacles or challenges newcomers in the print-on-demand business have to face. Simple and generic text-based designs like these usually don't perform too well on the market simply because they have already been published hundreds or even thousands of times, since it doesn't require any special skills or sweat to create simple text designs like these. You can assume a lot of people have literally flooded the market with their own versions of the same saying, the same slogan or the same quote featured on a t-shirt hoping for a quick sale and at the same time making it quite challenging for you and your text-based design to stand out on the market. How can you overcome this problem? Well, there are actually two possible solutions. You either decide to scale up, start mass uploading and flood the market with your own text-based designs, I mean with thousands of them, to increase your sales ratio that way, or you go with quality instead of quantity and decide to invest a little more of your time into decent research to find design ideas that will allow your t-shirts to stand out and outrank your competitors' t-shirts in the long run, leading to an increase of sales with a considerably small portfolio of designs. 
How can you make your t-shirt designs look more eye-catchy and more appealing in your potential customer's eyes? Let's say, if you don't consider yourself neither talented nor skilled in graphic designing, well, one option would be to simply ask someone else to come up with ideas and to create beautiful graphic designs for your print-on-demand business. You can hire freelance graphic designers on marketplaces such as Fiverr, for example, for a small price to let them do the job for you. Doing this may cost you money, but on the other end, it will also save you a lot of time. So it is up to you if you'd like to invest some of your funds and outsource your business from the get-go or not. But what if you don't have any funds to spare? Well, you can always head over to tools such as Google News or Google Trends to find out what topics are trending right now, learn what people are talking about the most, either in a specific country or worldwide, use the popularity and traffic power of some of the most trending topics for your advantage and let them inspire you. Take Women's Day, for example. Today we have the 8th of March, meaning today we're celebrating International Women's Day. So why not make a nice and inspiring t-shirt design about Women's Day? You can use Pinterest, for instance, to get some inspiration for your design. Simply head over to Pinterest, sign up there free of charge if you haven't done that yet, and type in a search something related to Women's Day. For example, Women's Day t-shirts. Browse through the pins down below to get some inspiration. This one here looks really nice, or that one here. Head back to Canva and create a graphic design similar to this one. Now you're not supposed to copy it pixel by pixel for obvious reason, but instead you model it. Modeling means you grasp the main idea of a t-shirt design, for example, you add some of your own touch and value to it, change a few things, add some new elements, and that way create a completely new and unique artwork based on a top seller. Alternatively, you can use some of the pre-made templates here on Canva, as long as they haven't been marked with a crown icon, because content with that icon can be used only by members who purchase the paid plan here on Canva. The good news, however, is there is a lot of free content you can use on this platform. You can customize the given template according to your own imagination, or I should better say to your customer's taste, flip it, crop it, add more elements to it, change the text if you like, the color, the alignment and the size. There's so much you can do and customize here in Canva, guys. Just play around as much as you like and once you're content with your creation, save it on your computer. And lastly, head back to your account on Teespring, click on this button here and on the next page select the product you would like to have your design featured on, for example on a t-shirt, on a hoodie or on a mug. I will go with a standard t-shirt for demonstration purposes and the following is actually so simple guys, literally anyone can pull this off. Simply upload your design you created through Canva with one click of your mouse, choose the color of your t-shirt, I will go with standard white. And lastly, set your pricing, for example, $24 per sold item, which would bring you a royalty per sale of $7.73 or $19.99 with a royalty of $3.73. How you price your items is up to you at the end of the day. I personally like running a low price strategy to get my first couple of sales pretty, pretty fast. Next, add more products to your collection, like various t-shirt types, mugs, bags, premium tees and all of that stuff. And in the final step, create a listing for your item by giving it a title and also a description. Remember to use as many strong and niche related keywords as possible in your listing. A proper SEO may have a significant impact on your item's performance on the market and thus bring you more sales. And once that's done, you're free to launch your listing and publish your t-shirt design on the market of Teespring. As you can see guys, Publishing stuff on this platform is in fact as simple as cutting a cake. Well, and it's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.